quite a bit goes into leaving the U.S. for the Bahamas and the Caribbean during a normal year. And these days, it's a bit more complicated. Of course, the boat has to be ready, fueled up, and stocked up with all the provisions we can carry for months, last minute systems checks on water and electrical systems. Then, when we see a weather window opening, we need to get COVID tests, get the results back, so that we can apply for a health visa, so that we can make the crossing of the Gulf Stream, so that we can check in with customs and get our cruising permit, so that we can start the clock on our second five-day COVID test in the islands and be officially legal to cruise. Everything's got to line up. A work list like any other. The main difficulty is, for the Bahamas at least, you have a five-day window between when you get your COVID test and when you check in. That's plenty of time to get to the Bahamas, but remember you got to get your test results first before you can get the health visa. Any trouble getting the test results or the health visa and you can run out a weather window. Things can get kind of tight. So after all that running around today, hours later, we have been denied. Dramas. Okay, so we're pretty sure that our camera that we've been waiting three months for has arrived in the area and we think it's going to be delivered to the UPS store. That was the last box we needed to check off before we get some groceries, fuel, and get out of here. We've also got a weather window. And this time of year, those weather windows out to the Bahamas can come every week sometimes two weeks or even three weeks. You gotta have the right weather to cross the Gulf Stream to get to a place where you can check in. All right, green light so far, but we're having some challenges getting a quick turn PCR COVID test. And we have to meet up with a nurse or get to the lab. So it's gonna cost us $500 for two tests and Otherwise, we have to wait till this afternoon, like four or five, for them to come to Riviera Beach. So I think we're about to jump in a car. What do you think? Do we have a car? That's we a got a car. They said they're standing by. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, the marathon begins right now. Ready to go to the Bahamas? I want to try. It's all coming together. <laughs> and we just got notified that our camera has finally arrived. Back that way. Cannot believe it's finally here. It's been a three month wait and it feels really good to know we can go pick it up. We're going to get our PCR test. First time ever in nine months. I hope you pass. This looks totally not legit at all. <laughs> well, they're a mobile service, so let's check it out. A whole bunch of different ways of doing it. Yeah. Hi there. Hi. So I've been looking at all these different places to get testing and the fastest is 24 hours down here in Fort Lauderdale and South Florida. So these guys are definitely the fastest that I've found. One, two, three, four, five, two sides. One, two, three, four, five. We're doing your rapid ocular PCR testing with Blue Med Consultants. Nice. All right. Well, 30 minutes. How was it, Nick? Yeah. 30 minute results. And then you yeah. guys are heading to the Bahamas? Hopefully yeah. tonight. Nice. Yeah. We'll Tickle? see. Yeah, a little painful. Painful? Like, yeah. Uh-oh. Here we go. All right, turn to both sides, you got a five count. One, two, three, four, five. See? <laughs> Just the, the anticipation is always yeah. the lowest part, so. Uh, yeah, Blue Med Consultants, if you guys need COVID testing prior to travel, or if anyone's sick or screening in South Florida, uh, we're all ER medical uh, doctors and PAs. We've been doing this for a long time. And we have the fastest test results in town. PCRs in 30 minutes and antigens in 15 minutes. 
Uh, we have a CLIA certified laboratory certificate. It's got our results. We are negative. Woohoo! That feels so good. I knew we would be. How's it feel? The stars aligning? Yeah, so far. Okay, I just submitted my visa, health visa to the Bahamas. It is officially pending. Now I'm going to do NYX. We are at the UPS store and the camera is here. Yeah. So let's go get it. Give me that camera. Waiting for it for <laughs> three months. Like this red battery sticker. Wow. This is what got us in trouble. Now, I see there's a 1-800 number. We could have, somebody could have called and made sure that that was okay for air traffic. Wow. Behold, the George Foreman Grill. Some folks go with the $2,000 induction cooktop system along with their inverter and their lithium batteries. But I say nay, $60, and Mr. George Foreman comes through. In all seriousness, this is the third one of these tabletop grills that we've had, and they're fantastic for burgers, for making tofu, vegetables. It's just really, really simple. At 1,000 watts, this thing is about as much electricity as our electric kettle. So yeah, we're gonna make some burgers. Well, while Nick is repairing the wrap, getting the engine ready and getting the water maker going, I have been editing the next video and also working with our insurance agent to get everything finalized. So we are trying to get everything done under the wire. A little stressful over here on Clarity, but we are getting things done and have some payoff. Woohoo! Just a little difficult here making this repair to the wrap. But I'm going to give it a shot because it looks like the waves are just going to wear away at it. Good job. Just doing some routine maintenance and uh, pre-departure checks. And I noticed the last maybe uh, 10 hours or so, a little bit of squeaking going on in the engine and a little delay in the tachometer spooling up at the, uh, at the helm. And that's probably a worn out belt. But just look at the width of the belt and you can see how much wider the new belt is than the old belt. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace it with a new one and we should be a-okay. I keep, uh, I think six belts, six replacement belts on the boat. We must be getting close. This is one of the final steps in getting the boat ready to go to head away from the US, head out to the islands, and that is putting the water maker together. New filters, Commissioning it isn't just as simple as screwing the filters in and turning on the water though. There's a purge process and then we test the salinity of the water that's going into the tanks to make sure that we don't corrupt our tanks or spoil them in some way. Well, we got all of our fuel. Nick, you can't pee off the boat here. Got our water. We just need one more thing and that's the approved health visa from the Bahamas. So most people online have been saying that that's come back within an hour or two. We're going on four hours, so it's only about four o'clock. Um, hopefully we'll get that here any minute and then we will be ready to set off at midnight. So surreal. Goodbye, Florida. It's been nice. Look at this. It makes a perfect one pound of ground beef. Two for you and one for me. All right, here we go. 
moment of truth. We got this great heat thermometer. <laughs> Let's see if eight minutes will do it. There you go, Woo! 165. Okay, so we got cheddar, a little extra sharp cheddar, and then a special secret sauce, mayo, with, and then sriracha. Just eyeball that. And then you have this with your burger. Mm. Little kick. Now what are you doing? All right, long story short. So we were having troubles with the output voltage from the inverter last summer. It turns out my wiring was just fine. The inverter was bad. They had repaired it free of charge, but they had wiped away all of the settings. So the default is set up for, I believe it's lead acid, maybe it's gel batteries, doesn't matter. It's not appropriate for lithium. So lithium sits at a higher voltage. The charger is seeing that the voltage is high, so it, it won't charge. The only way to reprogram it was to get this little doodad right here. And so I am reprogramming. Thank you, Internet, for showing me the settings. So after all that running around today, we submitted the travel visa application to the Bahamas immediately. And tonight, hours later, we have been denied because the information was incorrect or insufficient or something on the lab results. I mean, we need to leave here in about an hour and a half, maybe two hours tops to make our crossing before the wind switches. But we don't have an international phone plan to call the Bahamas to talk to these people. I'm burning through satellite uh, time here to speak to somebody. We finally got approved at 11.20 at night. We submitted this 12 hours ago and it took Blue Med Consulting's getting on the phone with the ministry to get this over the finish line. So thanks guys, you really helped. We have been on the edge of our seats all day and we are finally about to take off and Bahamas, we're coming for you. <laughs> so we might as well hit it. It's like 11.30. This puts us near the bank around sunrise tomorrow. Officially, we are leaving the USA. going in front of us. It's 1.15 in the morning and I am uh, pretty wide awake. You're pumped? I'm pumped. Me too. I only got a one hour nap. Just excited. I wonder if there's actually going to be anybody out here this season. <laughs> I have this really strange feeling that it's going to be... Me um, and you, and, and you and, and me. me. No matter <laughs> where we go, it's just you and me. <laughs> the only two we ever see is you, you and me. me. So happy together. I was just sound asleep and Nick yelled, he has to get in the water. There is some Sargosa weed around both props now. And he's not able to get them out by reversing. Never fast. Good job! Holy oh my God. We made it to great sale and wow, do you hear that? It is so quiet. It's beautiful. We got so lucky. We knew there was a big tree in the middle of the anchorage and so we're coming in slow and it just so happened to be about three feet off our starboard. 
and it would have done some serious damage. That thing was huge. I gotta clean out the anchor well because all the mud from the U.S. needs to get ghost. We are in clear sand now. This is the reality of boat life. You got chores. Now this is my workspace and it's been really grossing me out lately. There's been no point in cleaning it until we got to clean water. So, just taking this opportunity in paradise. All right, I'm gonna try to show you this magical sail we're on. It's uh, about 10 knots of wind and we are just flying about seven knots. The sun is about to come up, so it is just perfect out. For uh, years and years and years, I got up super duper early to, uh, to do the weather on TV. And I grew to really despise the mornings. But now that I don't have to do it to get paid, I don't know, for some reason I really, really enjoy the super early mornings now. Seeing the darkness turn to dawn and just feeling like there's so much potential in the day. Wow, mornings are really a magical time now. just got to Green Turtle Club Resort oh, and Marina and we are so happy to be here. Do I look official? You do. Yeah. Especially the socks and the shoes. Yeah, I think the customs person will be extra impressed by this. Customs and immigration didn't want me to film uh, the process for whatever reason, um, but it was pretty straightforward. Pretty much the same forms as always. We also presented our negative COVID test and um, got checked in. Two final steps to the process. One is to go get our five day after entry rapid COVID test. So we were tested before when we were in Florida, before we left, and now we're being tested five days after we've arrived. So they're giving a, a 10 day stretch there to make sure you know, you don't develop symptoms or the disease. Oh, we're at the clinic here. Gotta don our masks and go in and get our rapid five-day COVID test. And the other part of the process is just doing the daily health survey, which is a, a survey monkey, which just says, I certify that I am not feeling sick and that I haven't been around sick people. And that's it. 